In this video, we start Project 64 Impala. My name is Patrick, and this is Dad Life Projects. I've owned this Impala since 1999. That's 21 years. That's a long time. It's been through a lot of different changes. It's been through two paint jobs, a motor, tranny, wheels, rims, everything like that. I've done a lot of work on it, but for the last 10 years, it, the work has slowed down. With the three kids, I just haven't had the chance to do a whole lot. Today, we're going to start working on it. I'm going to change the oil today for the first project. All right, why don't, let's get started. First, before we do that, why don't we take a look at the car? The paint job's not bad. Like I said, it's been painted twice. There are some, there are some nicks. Need some touch up. It's not too bad. Has new all uh, molding, but as you can see, I've, over the years, it's still got some dings in it. Come around the rims. The rims are 20 years old. They're built specialties, uh, Talladegas, if I remember right. Let's go over here and look at the motor. The motor is a 350. It used to have the 283. I took it out. I bought this from a friend who used to have it in his truck. He used to race it at the local drag step strip. It also has a turbo 350 uh, transmission that I put in with the shift kit. This motor. It's a little bigger, uh, it's, it's a little bit built. It's about, I think it was rated at like 425 horsepower at the time. And yeah, it's a bigger cam, aftermarket heads, roller rockers, you know, it has headers, stuff like that. And uh, you know, it's just all around good motor. It has a pro form main body with the Holly bolts. And you know, it's, it's not bad motor. It sounds really good, runs pretty good. Why don't we come back here? Why don't we go look on the inside? See, the, ins the inside has not been touched in the 20 years I've owned it, 21 years. It's not bad, uh, besides the gauges and the stereo, and the shifter, of course. Come back here. Well, you probably can't see that, but, you know, it's pretty, really nice. It's all black. Everything's black inside. Oh, thing like that. And the body is pretty good shape. There are some rust areas in the back and in the trunk. I'll show you those a little later. But all in all, it's a solid car. I'm never, I'm never going to sell it. I've had it forever, and that's just the way I want to. I want to start now since my kids are going to school, pretty much. I want to start working on it. I want to get it up to par a little bit better. At least, at least driving, you know, once in a while. I never drive it now. My wife hates the fact that we have this car and we never really get a chance to drive it. But, well, why don't we get started? First, I'm going to start the car, warm up the oil, so it'll free, so it'll drain, real, you know, relatively easy. And then I'm going to back it up some, then I'm going to jack it up so I can actually fit underneath it to do this.
All right, there's the drain plug. Let's go ahead, climb in right there, take it off. Let's see if I can do this without making a mess. I doubt it, but here goes nothing. Let me get a rag and I will clean up this bolt, look at it, see if there's any shavings on it. No, no shavings, perfect. This is a very nice motor. It runs really well. I've never, I've never had problems with it in the 10 years, but I also don't really drive it a whole lot. So, that being said, hopefully I won't have problems for a very long time. So I can't afford another motor. All right, now I got the drain plug back in. Now I'm gonna try to take out the filter. I can't get my camera all the way underneath there to see the filter, but it's just right, right up uh, next to the, uh, the bottom uh, control arm there on this wheel. So let me get a wrench if I need one, a rag, and see if I can get that off without spilling, which I will, because it is a filter. Right. Let me see if I can do it with my hand here. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> yep, never fails. Never fails. Look at that. <laughs> oh my. All right. All right. I got the uh, oil filter off finally after a little bit of a mishap. And today I'm gonna to put a Wix filter on. The number is 51061. And also I, I put in Valvoline VR1 racing oil, 50 weight. Five quarts. That's what it holds. So let's get going. All right, I did fill up my uh, oil filter with the oil. And I did put a little bit around the, the seal. So it makes a nice seal on here. Let me go ahead and put it up there. <clears throat> I cleaned the area up all around it, where it's going on. Made sure there was no other seal on there, so it won't cause a leak. Alright, now let's tighten it up. Always just put it hand tight. Once you get at this, maybe another quarter turn to seat it right there. I'm gonna try it right there. Alright. Alright, now I'm gonna fill up the car with oil. 
You take a screwdriver to get off this breather. I used 50 weight oil because the guy who built my motor, he built it loose because he was going to run nitrous, he told me. Now, that's what I think I remember. It's been 15 years. So, so the oil's thick. Nice and thick. Now they got all the oil in, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to start it up, let it circulate some. This car doesn't have a choke on it, so I, sit, I have to sit there and uh, hold the throttle at, a, at like 1500 just to keep it going or else it will just die. So let me go ahead and start it up and we will check it out. That's going to do it for today's project. If you like any of the products used today, the links to the products are down below. If you like this video or any of my videos, please subscribe, like, and share. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook at dadlifeprojects or email me at dadlifeprojects at gmail.com. Remember, for any project you do, you are the project manager. See you next time.